Okay, Steelers training camp is in full swing. The players practiced again today, and tonight the guys are talking about the importance of keeping the offensive line healthy. Bob Pompiani has more for us from St. Vincent College in Latrobe. It's day four of Steeler training camp, St. Vincent College, sun-drenched day, a beautiful day once again. It didn't take long for the injuries to pile up yesterday in day three with the pads. No fewer than six Steeler players had to leave practice early. Chief among them, Senquez Golson, who's been injury riddled, left the field on a cart. James Conner also injured, more on him in a second. But the one area that really has to remain injury free if the Steelers are going to have success on offense is their line. Five guys been together for a long time. They're one of the best in the NFL and playing a lot together is the reason why. It's, it's very important in the sense that uh, you don't have lines like this in this league. You don't have lines that's been together for a while. There's a lot of turnover in and out of this league as, in, in general. So to have a guy, uh, have guys together for this long, even some of the backups is, is an awesome thing. I think we're just we're the same kind of group. We've just, just been with Munchak another year and just more experienced, more reps with each other. and. Just keep, keep trying to get better, keep trying to push that limit. Well, I think there's a lot of blocks that you didn't do by yourself. Actually, most of your blocks are done with someone else as an office alignment. You either have one gap and the guard has another gap, or you have to do a, a combination block to get to a linebacker, so it's two and two. And so um, I think there's a universal standard technique to do a lot of the you know, offensive, offensive line blocks, but when, you know, when you're with that person next to you, then you can see you know, how fast he moves and, and how... Uh, you know, he likes to do the block and, and being with each other helps a lot. That offensive line is a big part of the run game. No Le'Veon Bell here so far. He'll eventually show up. That means James Conner, when he gets back after his injury, he'll get a lot of the playing time and he'll definitely prosper with that O-line. So will Niall Davis, the free agent brought in from Kansas City. We have more from Mike Tomlin on James Conner, who went back to Pittsburgh today to meet with doctors, but we understand it could be encouraging news. That's coming up tonight, new at 6. For now, this is Bob Pompiani at St. Vincent College in in Latrobe.